I think in my career it was very often that there were certain doors open that um, it took me a while to enter. That's maybe it's something that I learned over the years that um, you should not be too fast in or you should not run through your career or your life in general and you should reflect a little bit about it and very often the moment when a door was opened um, um, that was the moment for me to reflect on it. Don't take every possible door that is open, uh, learn to say no and see what is good for you. I think I'm the complete opposite of Stefan. Like if he's a no man, I'm the yes man, I think. I, I think I'm maybe taking too many opportunities. I don't really know exactly when it started, but I guess it was going along with this whole Resident Advisor uh, top 100 chart thing. I was in the top 10 for about eight years or something, when always number eight, seven, six, and um, that n no one cared about actually. But the moment I became number one on that, um, it changed somehow everything. Um, in a way, no one came up to me before that and said like, ah, it's so amazing you are number two on the charts. <laughs> but then it changed. All of a sudden, yeah, you are the best DJ in the world, blah. Obviously in the first moment it's like, that's amazing. Yeah? But um, at a certain point, um, certain things came with it that uh, I didn't really like anymore. For instance, whenever I start somewhere to play, all the phones come out. That's the reason why I have in my contract that uh, all the lights go off when I start. So I usually tell the light people or my tour manager Björn's job is to, to speak to them before and say like 10 minutes, no lights at all. And I wanted to get this tension away of people like, okay, now the craziness starts. Now he will begin. It's not a sport what we're doing, so there's no number one and whatsoever. Still people judge. People love to judge. Uh, people love to hate. People sometimes love to give love and um, festivals especially festivals i would say clubs not that much but festivals try to judge in a way who they're gonna book so with this poll now gone what is left for festival promoters to judge because ideally we would think it's all about the music but it's not they don't know about the music yeah, what they know is about who is selling tickets and who is going to fill the festival. And that's, that's more an issue in the festival scene than in the club scene, because clubs are smaller, so it's easier to make them full. So maybe they could be more critical and uh, judging more based on the music. So I got the offer to, to do this and I was reading it and I thought the idea was that I do a mix for the cars that the people are driving in that game. And I said, no. My assistant, Leander, um, I think it was, uh, got back to me and said, like, hey, I'm not sure if you read this email correctly. It's not about just delivering a mix there. It's about being in that game. And I didn't really understand what it actually means. Um, um, I, and then there was the concept of, okay, there's a nightclub there, you're DJing there, and people can actually in the game attend that nightclub. All I was thinking like, I mean, this is, this is crazy. I will not get this offer again in 10 years if I'm looking back on what I've done. Uh, why did I say no back then? It's, it's actually fun and I have to go to New York and they put all this, you know, I'm going into the suit where they track all my movements and I'm actually playing there and they make my face and all this, even if I think it didn't work out well. Um, um, I thought that the experience itself is so amazing and um, my son might even play it in three years, um, that I couldn't let this uh, opportunity pass. I think the first time I, came, I actually set foot to Berlin was in 1993. Even if my friends were going to places like Tresor and I don't know what were all the other clubs, Walfish and Ewe. I, I always watch it from afar. So I can't really pull the, it used to be better card. What I can tell you is from my perspective as a DJ, like playing every weekend, going, and I'm sorry that I have to add to the mystique and cliche of that place, but going to Panorama Bar on a Sunday, for instance, um, that place still reminds me of why I once got into this or why I'm passionate about dance music or why I think DJing is fun. 
I think the difference in uh, in Berlin to other cities is, is still um, that I guess if you go to Lisbon and you go on resident advisor, you actually see what is happening in Lisbon. If you come to Berlin and you look at resident advisor, you have the impression that you know what's happening, but there's so much more. And this is still amazing. 